Now that we know a little bit about how we can start to work with our video files in Photoshop, here we're going to dig a bit deeper. In the next few movies, we'll be working with this clip. And in this first movie, we'll explore how we can edit or cut different parts of our video files. We'll also take a look at how we can work with typography as well. All right, well, in order to open this file up, let's navigate to Photoshop. A quick way to jump to Photoshop when you're in Bridge is to click on this little boomerang icon right here. Go ahead and click on that, and it will take you back to Photoshop. Then click on the File pull-down menu, and here we're going to choose Open. Next, we want to navigate to the Chapter 19 folder, and we'll select this video file, which is titled Rob Portrait. It's a brief video portrait of a really fascinating person, a world-famous surfer named Rob Machado. Well, here we'll click Open in order to open up this clip here in Photoshop. Click OK to use the embedded profile, and here we have the clip. Well, in this case, I know that the first part of the clip is something I want to cut away. I want this movie to start somewhere down the line. So we can move our playhead needle to where we want the clip to start, and then we can get rid of this content here in the beginning, and we can do so really easily. Take a look at this. All that you need to do is to position your cursor over the front edge of the clip. Notice how the cursor icon changes. Then just click and drag, and here I'll click and drag to the right here, and then let go. And here we have cut away that first part of the clip. Now the clip starts right at this point and then begins and plays. And in this way, we can start to see this clip and we can scrub through it, of course, in order to see this short video portrait. And again, this is just kind of a short little fun video portrait. And as we go through this, what I want to do is take a look at this file and also listen to the audio. Do you remember the shortcut that you can use to play your video files? It's the spacebar key. If you forget the shortcut, you can always click this play icon here. So let's go ahead and give a watch and a listen to this brief part of the clip. All right, well, as you can hear, there's some ambient noise in the background. And I actually don't like that noise that's happening there. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of it. One way to do that is to right click or control click on the clip itself. Then we have two icons, one which allows us to control the video duration and speed. Another one, this one here, which allows us to control the audio. Here we can change the level of the audio, how it fades in or fades out. And we can also get rid of the audio altogether by clicking on Mute Audio. Well, that's what I want to do because later in the next movie, we'll look at how we can add our own audio track to our video projects. All right, well, here we'll go ahead and mute the audio and then click off that in order to close that dialog. Again, you can access that dialog by right-clicking or control-clicking on the clip and clicking on the music icon. All right, well, next what I want to do is I want to add some typography or some text. I want to have this person's name appear here in this video project. To do that, what you want to do is click on this little icon right here. When you do that, you'll notice that you have a few options from this pop-up menu. What we're interested in creating is what's called a video group. That way we can control the contents of this group, in this case typography, independently. So go ahead and click on that option, and here you'll see we have a new video group. And if you look in the Layers panel on the right, you'll see it created a new video group for us over here. Well, now that we have this new group, all that we need to do is to select the Type tool, press the T key to do so, or click on the Typography tool there. Then we'll click into the image. We're going to go ahead and type out this person's name, which is Rob Machado. And then press Command Return on the Mac or Control Enter on Windows. Here we have that text layer. I'm going to use the Move tool in order to move this around. Because this is a video portrait, I'm imagining that this might be part of a larger project, perhaps a surf movie, where it introduces Rob Machado, shows his face for a second, and then it goes straight to the action. Well, in this case, I want his name to be bigger. To change the size of a text layer, just press Command-T on a Mac or Control-T on Windows, and here we can resize this layer. In this way, we can have a little bit of a larger size, then press Enter or Return. I also want to have some layer style effects applied to this text field. To do that, you want to click on your type layer, as we've done here, and then click on the FX icon, and I'll choose Drop Shadow. That will allow us to create a drop shadow behind the text. We could also do other things as well. If you add a brush stroke, you can do something which is kind of interesting. Let's use a brush stroke which is white. Next, click OK and then apply that by clicking OK. Well, one of the things that we learned in one of our previous movies was that you can change the fill of a layer, the actual pixel content. You can get rid of it and only show the layer style effects by decreasing the fill amount. Here, I'll take this down to zero. In doing that, you can see that we now have this transparent text. It's just the outside brushstroke line in the drop shadow. We can customize that further if you double click on the drop shadow icon. 
Here we'll go ahead and change the drop shadow if we want to. You can click on your image to drag that drop shadow around, or you can click into the stroke area and we can change the brush stroke. In this case, I'll just make this a little bit thinner, perhaps two pixels. Actually, you know what, three looks good there. And then click OK. In other words, I wanted to highlight working with typography and adding a few effects to illustrate that anything we know how to do with Photoshop, well, we can start to apply and extend that knowledge to working with our video projects. All right, well, here we added some interesting typography. Next, what I want to do is extend this typography for the duration of the underlying clip. Well, you can extend the clip by clicking over the right edge and then clicking and dragging. We'll drag this all the way to the end so that now the type there will exist throughout the entire clip. After having done that, it would be nice to have some transitions. So what we need to do is add some transitions to our typography and also to the video file. In addition, what I want to do is start to work with audio. So let's go ahead and pause here and then continue to work on this project in the next movie. So leave this project open as we'll continue to work on it in the next movie. I'll see you then.